Hallelujah to Jesus. We give God a praise. Let God be magnified in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. This is God's own channel with Evangelist Sarah. You are welcome. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless every member of this household. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you. Please, family, like this video. Share, subscribe. Tell somebody about this ministry. God bless you as you do that. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Glory above Father. Glory each other of days. You know, sometimes I want to be very careful because this is about a mother. This is about your mother. If you are that person that still have a mom, you have to listen. And if you are the person that your mom is late and you are having some things against your mother, God have me to tell you, forgive. Forgive. I don't know. I, this is a very serious situation. Because mothers are precious. They are wonderful people. I love my mom. Even when she's not here anymore with me, I still love her. You understand? She wasn't perf perfect. There is no perfect mother. But I loved her. Hallelujah. She gave her best. I need to talk to you. Somebody, they prophesy to you. To, they are prophesying to you that your mother is a witch. Your mother is a bad person. Your mother is this. Your mother is that. I want you to understand. Let's assume. I'm not even saying. Let's assume. Let's think. That she's a witch. She's this, she's that, she's that. Which I know there are some mothers who are like that. I'm not disputing that. It is not enough to hold her grudge in your heart. It is not enough. It is not enough. It is not enough. Be careful what you hear about your own family this is about your mother there is an there is an avenue that are hoving around that want you to abandon your mother i'm going to pray for those who are still praying for their mother despite the fact they know that their mother is not even the type that they they, they, they love to have as a mother you don't have to be close to a mother to care for her. You don't have to be close to a mother to forgive her. You don't have to be close to a mother to, to, to let go of those things in your mind. Because when you are holding these things in your mind, child of God, you are also doing yourself. The Bible says we should honor our father and our mother. We should honor them. I know some mothers are terrible mothers. And some are wonderful mothers. Even if it's a terrible mother, I beg you, forgive. 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 I say again, forgive. Forgive. Most mothers, the things that they did, all the things that they are doing, it is not their fault. It is a manipulation from the kingdom of darkness. I don't know why I'm feeling emotional about this because it is a beautiful thing when I see people who still have mothers. I see people gifting their mother money, cars, they are calling their mother, their mother are calling them. Sometimes I feel jealous. I'm like, how? Oh, I wish my mother was still here. So when I'm giving messages like this, it triggers a lot of emotion inside of me. But I don't have a mom anymore. But I'm encouraging you to have. The fact that I don't have a mom does not mean I should not speak on this. Please, I beg you. Why she is still here, do the little you can do. If it is prayer that you can pray, pray. If it is, if they are evil, you notice that they are, your mother is very evil, is very wicked. Pray for them that God will visit them with salvation. Until the funerary day, 
we will not know the value of our mother until the day they are about to be laid into the grave we will not know the value i am telling you even if your mom is not alive she have done a lot of things against you please forgive and let go forgive and let go I want to start tearing up. God help me. Forgive and let go. This is not about me. But I feel emotional saying this. It breaks my heart to see some people, you know. They can just stand in their platform. And they can just tell their mother. They can just tell their members. They can just point out a, a, a member and say, Your mother is a witch. Your mother is going to die. You know. Because the pain that somebody has not been to, it is easy to mock it. I know there are some persons who will tell me, Evangelista, you don't understand what this woman has done. It's okay. At least you can forgive from a distance. Not that even the mother, the mother might not deserve that forgiveness. But just forgive for your own sake. You know, just forgive for your own sake. I'm not disputing the fact that there are some terrible mothers. There are some mothers who are witches who exchange the destiny of their children. Forgive them. Let God handle them. Let God handle them so that you will be free. So that you, will, you, will don't, you don't carry that hate, you know, inside of you like, mm, this woman, you know, you know that kind of hate. Sometimes it becomes a trauma. It can turn into a trauma. It can turn into a trauma. <sighs> the Lord will bless us. It is very difficult, I understand. When you have a mother who is not a who is not mothering at all. <laughs> so mother are not just mothering at all. <laughs> like they are not doing the mothering job at all. I understand. Why some can say my mom is beautiful. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless your mother for being beautiful. If you are the type that have a good mother. The Lord bless her heart. The Lord preserve her. May you not lose her when it is no time. May you not lose her when it is no time. You know, people who have, who have, have experience of a bad and a terrible mother. Some of them, you can't blame them. Because mothers are supposed to be like hen that cover their children. But rather, some of them, they become the one that scatter. They become the one that scatter. Whatever you can give, give. Whatever you can do for them, do for them. Maybe you don't want to give money because you are like, oh, you, you know who your mother is. Maybe it's worshipping different kinds of idols. You can send help in a different way. Don't just abandon them because they have, they have chosen the wrong path. Forgive them. Forgive them. I pray for their salvation. It is not going to be unto God. God is the one that will not decide what to do with them if they did not repent. You understand? I know that many of them will never repent. No matter what happens. I was watching a, I saw something, I think over a year ago, there was a little boy who dropped out of school and he now become a social media personality. You know, people, all these children, some of them that drop out of school. So he, 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 he was live, I think it was on TikTok and he was live on TikTok and then somebody gave, they said somebody, I wasn't on the live, I only saw the news. They said somebody gave him a very huge amount of money. I don't know how TikTok functions that much. Though I have a TikTok, it's not functioning like that. So, and he was very excited. He called the mom out of excitement on that life. And said, mom, see somebody just give me so, so amount of money. Are you proud of me now? Though I dropped out of school. And on that life session, the mother insulted him. I don't care, you can go to hell, you can do this, you can do that, you know. The joy in the life of that boy died. That is a trauma. 
that is a trauma and according to the story he was having a lot of people on the live stream thousands of people were there hundreds of people you know i'm like that kind of a child we have that trauma even all his life but he will have to forgive for his own for his own mental stability you understand what i'm saying so some mothers can be horrible i know but please i beg you let go of the mistakes let go you can love her from a distance yes pray for her from a distance if she's the type that don't want you to come close to her that don't want to change you can pray for her from a distance and the lord will help you it is well with you jesus love you and i love you with the love of christ and may your sister evangelist Sarah, by the grace of god i will see you again bye bye